A Remembrance Day atrocity in Northern Ireland. A bomb has killed 11 and injured more than 60. As the story of the bomb dominated both national and international headlines, the scale and nature of the tragedy provoked fears about what was to follow. It could have started a civil war. One of the victims, Mari Wilson, was with her father when the bomb exploded. On Tuesday, 48 hours after the tragedy, the shattered community gathered to bury the dead. Dozens joined Gordon Wilson for a service of thanksgiving for the life of his daughter, Mari. Just 20 years old, Mari Wilson was a popular girl and her loss was deeply felt. But that same day, a television interview with Gordon Wilson, the father of its youngest victim, was to have a dramatic impact on the mood and atmosphere within Enniskillen and beyond. And then I was aware of somebody squeezing my hand. And Mary said, is that you, Dad? And I said, yes. She said, are you all right? I said, yes, but my hand's sore. How are you, dear? All right. Then I heard her scream. Asked her again, how are you, Mary? Are you all right? Yes. She was gripping my hand very tightly. I was bleeding from the forehead. Knew it hurt myself. But I was as assured that she was all right. She told me twice. She told me again, but she still was screaming in between times, and I couldn't understand why on the one hand she was telling me she was all right, on the other hand she was screaming. When I asked her for the fourth or fifth time, she said, Daddy, I love you very much. Those were the last words she spoke. I should never forget them. But I bear will, I bear no ill will to anybody, nor does my wife. I think they must represent some of the most important and moving words that were ever spoken in the history of our troubles. Um, I bear no ill will to anybody. I was told later that there were people in Northern Ireland ready to take up uh, arms or whatever you like to call it and go out and commit murder in revenge for the Enniskillen bomb. And when Gordon said that, they couldn't do it. Um, it was very true that uh, any uh, destructive language he would use or any ill thoughts he would have would only make the situation worse. I think Gordon Wilson is very courageous and brave to say those things. No matter what you think, uh, I think it stopped probably other people getting killed because of it. <laughs> 